this video I'm going to show you how to set up a local host so for this example I'm going to be using WAMP server um, so what you'd want to do first of all is um, go to um, WAMP server's website so you can just type in WAMP server in Google and it will be the first link um, and then at the top you want to click downloads and here select which operating system you're using 32-bit or 64-bit I'm using 64-bit so I will click on this one and um, you'll get a little thing here to fill in but if you just um, uh, one sec. Um, there so that you can download it directly they've moved it, it used to be at the bottom um, so just download it there click on that link and um, it'll take you to this website which will start downloading and then you can download this from here. I'm going to actually download it again because um, I have actually just uninstalled my version to show you how to do this so let's just wait for this to download right here um, I might just pause the video Right, so this is uh, just about finished now. So what we're going to do is just double click on that and run the installer. Uh, yes to this. Um, you can get rid of this download box now. Um, and on welcome to bank server, um, just tells you a little bit about it there. Just click next, agree the, uh, accept the agreement. And this way you need to enter your the folder you where you where all your files or where I where you want all your files to be basically. Um so just leave it as default which is just in the C drive on its own. Um as you can see oh, it exists for me. I'm just gonna put it there anyways. Um you can create desktop and quick launch icons if you want. I'm just gonna leave them blank and click next and install and then this will start to um, add all the files and um, stuff like that um, so it might take a few minutes okay that's done and obviously this will come up saying um, please choose your default browser and by default it goes into your um, Windows folder where um, Internet Explorer, sometimes it goes to Internet Explorer um, so what you do is basically just select your um, browser so I'm just going to come down here and there's IE if you use that I'm going to select uh, Firefox and then click on the application click open that'll finish that off and um, once this finishes, there we go, and it will tell you to enter um, SMTP details. Um, this is basically for um, a mail server which you have to manually set up yourself. Um, but anyway, you can just leave that as default, um, and basically you can start launching it and if you're on Windows 7 or Vista um, it will ask you for a UAC control just click yes to that and um, it should be starting to loading up and um, one other problem which you should know about um, is that if you come down here and um, you'll see how WAMP server it says server offline uh, because um, it's interferes with Skype so if you have Skype basically just right click and quit Skype uh, make sure Skype is completely closed before you use this and click um, so left click on the icon and then just click restart all services and then you will see um, WAMP server should change to green there we go and from there you can go to your local host and start setting up other server configurations which for advanced I don't usually mess around with any of this stuff 
Um, but now to set it up in Dreamweaver, so if you want to know how to set it up in Dreamweaver, it's really simple. Um, on the right side, if you click inside here, then go to Manage Sites, click on New, and then just name your site. I'm just going to put it as WAMP Server. Um, and then click on the little folder and then select where WAMP Server was installed, so it's there. WAMP, click on Open and then select. So basically you've got the installation directory there. Click save and um, it will start updating the cache. And there we go, click done. And you are now on um, WAMP. But what I tend to do is because you don't really use any of these. All you use is the WW W folder. Um, so what I tend to use is going to edit and then just put in W in there um, click done and basically you will just have the uh, the files in there that you need to view so that's how to set it up and install it and how to get it running in Dreamweaver, Dreamweaver yeah so thanks for watching and I will see you next time